Hello there. This is the family doctor. Go last night. Hmm? Oh, well, no, Lou. I, I didn't. I uh, just uh, running over the editorial page this morning. Well, now, you just hustle along. Hmm? You heard what I said. I want you to hurry. I've got lots to do before the ladies come today. Ladies? Well, I'm having a meeting of the committee here this afternoon, and I've got to prepare the refreshments and all. Besides cleaning up a night before they... Grant! Huh? Huh? What? I... Look what you're doing. What's the matter? You almost poured that coffee into the sugar bowl. Oh, I did, eh? <laughs> well, nothing to laugh at. I've got enough to do around here without cleaning up after your absent-mindedness. Oh, I'm a great little woman. Well, I guess I might as well get on downtown. Goodbye, Lou. Bye. Well, well now, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> there. Was that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, you men. You can think of more things to waste a body's time. Men? Or just how many men are there in your life, Lou? Grant Adams. Now you get along. Get along this minute. <laughs> Goodbye, Lou. <laughs> See you this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Griff, there's your liniment. And then on your way back to the lake, you stop into the house and, and you get those new pellets. Yeah. Yes, they came in the mail last evening, and I guess I forgot to bring them down to the office. Oh, that's all right, Doc. I ain't no hurry. Uh, just take them as it says on that slip of paper there. Yeah. One before every meal and one before bedtime. And drop around in about a week. Yeah. And see how you're yeah. feeling then. And if you don't start improving pretty soon, well, we're going to have to try something else to clear up that rheumatism. Yeah, uh... You, you might try cutting off my arm, Doc. <laughs> Griff Miller, that's no way to talk. I'll tell you what I am going to prescribe, though. Yeah, what's that, Doc? How's that gold mine of yours panning out? Gold mine? Oh, uh, well, all right, I reckon, but uh, what's that got to do with it? Never mind. Is it uh, paying you pretty well, Griff? Well, tolerable, yeah, but uh, I told him to go kind of slow. Why? Well... I, I don't want the uh, folks to see it and uh, think old Griff Miller's too rich. <laughs> Might uh, want to get their hands on some of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Griff, I've been thinking. You're not getting any younger. No, no, I uh, reckon ain't. None of us do, I guess. Uh, and it's high time you were taking things a little easier. Easier? Oh, oh no, Doc, I ain't working too hard. Oh, yes, you are. I've driven past your house at the lake, and you've been... Pushing those big flat bottom rowboats of yours around. Oh, well, uh, I've been mending the springboard, uh, putting a new roof on your boathouse, and a hundred and one other things that just don't do that rheumatic condition any good. Oh, say no, Doc. No, you've just got to take things easier. Oh. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't hire some good, healthy, strapping young fella to do your hard work for your grip. Oh, no, no, well, you can take the responsibility of managing everything, but take on a husky youngster to do the heavy work. You wouldn't have to pay him very much, and it'll add ten years onto your life. Oh, no, Doc, I, I can't afford nothing like that. Afford it? Now, Griff, 
What about your gold mine? Uh, well, 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 I'll tell you, Doc Adams. I've been working around the lake up there so long by myself, I, I don't know what I'd do with nobody else a fussing and stewing around in my way all the time. Nevertheless, young man, you've got to do something to take it easier, or you'll be all crippled up with that shoulder of yours in no time. Do, do you really mean that, Doc? I most certainly do. Now, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your business. That isn't my job. No. Yeah, my business is to show you how to regain sound health and keep it. Uh, uh, well, I reckon so you know what you're talking about, Doc. Of course I do. Now, you think it over, Grip, and we'll talk about it when you come down next week. Yeah. Right? All right, Doc. <coughs> Thank you again, Doc. And don't mention it. And uh, don't forget to drop up to the house and get those new pellets. No. Uh, if I'm not going to be there, I'll phone Mrs. Adams to have them ready. All right, Doc. Thank you. Well, so long. Goodbye, Griff. Hello? Dr. Adams speaking. Oh, oh, oh yes, Lou, yes. The committee wants to see me? What about? Oh, oh, you can't tell me now, huh? Well, I've got a couple of calls to make, Lou, and I'll be right home... Yes, that's all. Oh, in about 20 minutes or half an hour, I guess. All right, Lou. Yes, sir. all right. Goodbye. in Cedarton. I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to tell you before this just how glad we all are. <laughs> just think of real gold mine right there on your property. <laughs> oh, I do, Dr. Adams. Well, hello, Maddie. I was just telling Mr. Miller what a grand thing I think it is, him finding all that gold in his property. Isn't it thrilling? Yes, it certainly is. For Griff. Yes. Well, I've got to hurry along. I'm just delivering this dress to uh, Pete May. To Pete May? Yes, he sent it to his mother for her birthday. <laughs> was my idea. Oh, I see. <laughs> and then I'm going up to your house, uh, Dr. Adams. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, committee meeting. <laughs> I am kind of late, but I had to get this dress done. Uh, well, goodbye, Mr. Miller, and I do think you're an awful lucky man. Yeah, well, goodbye. I'll see you later, won't I, Dr. Adams? Me? Oh, yes, yes, sure. Yeah, goodbye, Maddie. Goodbye, Dr. Adams. Well, that woman sure has got the gift of gab. <laughs> yes, Griff, I guess she has. <laughs> She certainly had you cornered. <laughs> Grant him anyhow. <laughs> Not a nuisance and bother, says I. Why? What do you mean? Women. Tarnation nuisances. That's what they are. Or it's a button into other folks' affairs. Oh, now, Griff, you oughtn't to talk like that. Why, it's the women folks that, that make the world what it is. Yeah, I reckon it is. I mean, the world is a sweeter, more wholesome, more livable old place with the women folks around. Mm-hmm. And you know it is. The women, bless them, they're the balance wheel of civilization, Griff. Uh, maybe you're right, Doc. I wouldn't be known. Well, I'll call by your house some out later and get them pellets. All right, Griff. Goodbye again. Friday, what's this? Oh, Grant, I'm so glad you've come. What is this, Lou? I I thought you said you had a committee meeting here this afternoon. I have. This is a committee meeting. Looks to me like the whole ladies' aid. Well, it's a meeting of the committee of the whole. The whole? Uh, Yes, and I'm in it. Oh, Dr. Adams. How do you do? Oh, Doctor. You know Griff Miller better than anyone else in town. Well, I... Oh, yes, you do now. And you've got to settle this matter. Matter? What matter? Well, we're trying to decide what Griff Miller should do about his mine. His mine? What about it? Well, I say that he should start a library. If he wants to call it the Miller Memorial Library, well, that's all right with me, but a still... And I say that Griff Miller isn't able to handle his money himself. I don't think he's competent. Mentally, I mean. Oh, well, I don't know. Now, just a minute, girl. Just a minute. Just 
think what it would mean for Cedarton to have a real public library. Now, if we could get Griff Miller, I mean, do, if Dr. Adams could get Griff Miller to start a fund that would take, oh, say, 85% of the money he gets out of his mind, well, then, he wouldn't have to be declared incompetent. And after all, girls, that is a little discouraging to an old man like him. Yeah, I don't think it'd be discouraging to anybody. Uh, well, I don't know how this is going to be settled. But as for me, I'm going to wait on my husband as a committee of one. And if I can't get Sam and Windsor to declare Griff Miller mentally incompetent to handle all that money, well, I don't know, Sam Windsor. <laughs> well, I, I, I move, I move, girl. I move that we leave it up to Dr. Adams. I second the motion. You've heard the motion, ladies. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed? No. The ayes have it. <laughs> Dr. Adams. <clears throat> well, ladies, I must say this has been mighty interesting to me, this little discussion of yours about what Griff Miller is going to do with the money he gets out of his own gold mine. <laughs> I suppose <laughs> But uh, I've just been thinking. I wonder what you think of this idea. What would you think of letting things take their own course and allowing the subject in question, Griff Miller, to make his own decision? Now, well, now, just a minute. You know the man's not going to there's the front door bell. I'll go, Lou. You stay right here. I'll go. Gosh, Jeff Friday. Oh, hello, Doc. Uh, I just oh, yes, yes, yes. What is it, Grip? Oh, an emergency case? Oh, I'll come right away. Oh, oh. Anybody dying? Well, uh, wait till I get my medicine uh, case. Oh, but Doc, I, I, I just... know, Grip. I know it's all right. <laughs> a doctor must answer a call any time of the night or day. Come along. Hey, wait a sec, Doc. You don't understand. Oh, yes, I do. Come on, get into my car. I'll drive you up to the lake. But, but Doc Adams, uh, did you bring the pellet? Oh, hang the pellet. I wouldn't go back into that house for a, a gold mine. Well, well, what's the trouble, Doc? You, you look sort of upset. Never mind. I wouldn't give you the satisfaction of telling you what's the trouble. Well, but just you believe me when I tell you, Griff Miller, you know more about the world than I've given you credit for. Women, gush to Friday. family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> 